I spent 2020 in a recliner watching a big screen TV just a few feet away from me. So the world just kind of became flat, two-dimensional. And I saw all these beautiful places and then I started thinking, you know what? There's a whole world out there and it's not flat. There's a three-dimensional world out there. There's beautiful places and I can go there. What's my goal as a nomad? My goal as a nomad, my ultimate bucket list location is the Redwood Forest. Travel Grandma is a kind and generous person. She invited me to camp with her and Liz for two weeks in the Redwood Forest. I was so thrilled. No one has ever successfully painted or photographed a redwood tree. The feeling they produce is not transferable. From them comes silence and awe. It's not only their unbelievable stature, nor the color which seems to shift and vary under your eyes. No, they are not like any other trees we know. They are ambassadors from another time. John Steinbeck He also said, The redwoods once seen leave a mark or create a vision that stays with you always.
2,000 years old, the Brotherhood tree is one of the largest living things in the world. It is 19 feet in diameter, 60 feet in circumference, and 297 feet tall. It's awe-inspiring to stand next to this massive living thing and realize that it was here growing for most of recorded human history. It's a coastal redwood, also known as Sequoia sempervirens, which means ever-living. And you'll see a family group of trees where an older tree has died. In fact, this one group of trees that I saw, you could tell the ones that were there when the big tree was there. Because those trees are bowed out. Because the big tree, the mother tree, was there in the beginning. And then the trees that came after are standing tall because the mother tree wasn't there anymore. I couldn't have described it myself, but I, when I read this, I knew that that's exactly what I was feeling. Being in these groves seemed like being in another world, a place where things existed that I knew nothing about. They were so powerful, so alive. They had so much energy, it was almost a hum, like the crackle of energy that remains after a thunderstorm. I put my hands on many trees hoping to absorb just a fraction of their greatness. If everything is made of energy, then these trees, as the oldest living things in the world, have an abundance of power and energy and more wisdom than we can comprehend. That's worth being around. In comparison to their height, their roots only go just a few feet into the ground, but they spread out and they connect with the other trees and they hold each other up. It's a real community. Scientists have found that there are not only the roots that connect them, there's also a fungus that feeds off of the sugar that the trees produce and in turn these fungus that are woven in with the roots help them communicate with each other. The trees can actually send nutrients or water to another tree that's in distress. A tree that's in distress can warn the other trees too. And this sounds a little crazy, but now it scientifically has been proven that the trees actually communicate with each other. It's a beautiful campsite. Gorgeous ferns, light through the trees. Little white flowers in the distance there on the ground. Long Vistas are wonderful. But there's an intimacy, a closeness, a friendliness, a feeling of home in the redwoods.
I was honored to be in their presence.